Attorney General Ken Paxton will face a criminal trial next year for felony securities fraud charges. He appeared in a Houston courtroom this morning where lawyers agreed on a trial date of April 15th. Our Ryan Chandler is in Houston to bring us the very latest. Well, after eight long years, some major developments in Ken Paxton's criminal case this morning. He'll go to trial next year in a case that could send him to prison. The special prosecutors insisting that while well, Paxton is fresh off an acquittal in the Senate, this case with a real judge and jury will be different. For the first time, Mr. Paxton's going to be facing justice. The long legal drama continuing into its ninth year. Ken Paxton stoic and silent in a Houston court, not addressing questions on allegations he defrauded investors while getting paid to push stocks. There's going to be evidence and there will be some, there will be a jury that comes in unbiased. These allegations were not considered in Paxton's impeachment trial. Prosecutors say he won't go free this time. That was a farce of a mockery of an outrage and injustice. And in this courtroom, in this building, truth matters. This is about the money for the special prosecutors. It's not about justice. The defense blaming the delays on disagreements over the prosecutor's paychecks. Schaefer and Weiss have not been paid since 2016 when a Paxton supporter sued over their fee agreement. Uh, whether they get paid or not, um, Mr. Paxton deserves a fair trial. And this is just one of the ongoing legal challenges that the attorney general still faces. Back in Austin, he still has that civil lawsuit from his former employees suing him for wrongful termination. And the special prosecutors tell us today they expect the federal government will hand down a federal indictment any time now. In Houston, I'm Ryan Chandler. Back to you.